Hello, everyone. Welcome to our YouTube video. My name is Kevin. I'm here with Mariah, Alma, and Jessica. Our group name is the A1 Team, and we are in a class of dynamics. So for our first project, uh, it was a projectile motion. Um, we were told to create a projectile motion scenario to our liking, and our scenario is similar to the picture that we have right here. We decided to create like a car launching off of um, of a of a ramp and landing onto another ramp. Um, can you go to the next slide, please? So for our project, um, as you can see in the diagram right here, we have a car launching off of ramp one onto ramp two. We um, have the distance across them to be 10 meters. We have the height of ramp two is eight meters. And the height of ramp one, it's gonna vary between each student because uh, each student is gonna be using a different car or a different bike. Um, and using that, we're gonna be able to calculate the initial velocity and the time of, of each projectile motion. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so for our problem statement, we wrote that a student tests out four different projectile motions using vehicles starting from ramp one, that is Y initial above the ground level onto a ramp two that is eight meters above ground level and with a distance of 10 meters from each other. Each vehicle has the same angle of 55 degrees from ramp one. And we are gonna determine the air the air time each vehicle has and the initial velocity using kinematics. Okay, so like Jessica said, um, our initial angle was 55 degrees. Right here in the calculations uh, for the Tesla Model S, as you can see, well, we did the calculations in two different um, directions, in the Y direction and the X direction. So my initial values are on the right side. We know the Y initial, the Y final is eight, the X initial is zero, X final is 10. The angle, as Jessica said, is 55 degrees and the acceleration in the Y direction is 9.81. There's no acceleration in the X direction. And we're just looking for the V initial and the time. So in the Y direction, I started with the uh, second kinematic equation. I plugged in my values and then I saw that uh, after the third line, three equals V initial sine 55 T minus 4.9 T squared. Um, we have two unknown values, so we moved on to the X direction. Uh, we know that the X initial and the acceleration is zero. So we just rearrange the equation to have only one unknown variable. So using V initial, we substituted it back to the Y direction. We calculated the time. And using the time, we were able to calculate the initial velocity, which was 11.5 meters per second, or 25 meters or 25 miles per hour for um, the car, for my projectile motion. Next. Okay, so for my calculations, I did it based off the dirt bike and the initial, the initial height was uh, 2.5 meters and that'll, and that'll, after calculating that, I got time as 1.33 seconds and the initial velocity at 13.10 meters per second. The results of my calculations utilizing the 2022 Toyota Camry uh, with an initial height of four meters will be the result of a uh, time at 1.45 seconds and velocity at 12.2 uh, meters per second. And these are the results for the Suzuki GSX R750 sports motorcycle um, that started two meters above the ground, calculated the time at 1.30 seconds and the initial velocity at 13.42 meters per second.
To conclude our presentation today, we were able to determine the initial velocity and the air time each projectile had by knowing the angle, the initial height, the final height, and the distance between each ramp. We hope you enjoyed this quick presentation over our projectile motion problem.